Hello? Is someone there? Oh, my goodness. Um, hello? Uh, who, who are you? And, um, and why are you naked? <laughs> well, I, um, no, I'm not, I'm, nope, eyes are covered. Yep, nope, not looking. Mm-mm. Well, I'm sorry, but it's very unusual for me to have a visitor at all, let alone one who just turns up to my lake absolutely naked. So, uh, again, quick question, but seems to be an important one. Who are you? And then, of course, the follow-up. Why are you naked? Yes, this is my lake. Well, because I live here. No, no, not in a cabin nearby or anything. I live here in the lake. Are you, uh, all right? Or are you just deliberately not noticing or paying attention to my lower half? Oh, you were trying to be polite because you thought I was in a bathing suit. That's kind, but uh, you can look. Oh, don't freak out. Don't. Nope. No, 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 no. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Yeah. Mermaid. Well, that's why I live in the lake. Because I'm a water creature. What about you? Oh! Well, I guess that explains why you turned up at my lake naked. I mean, the full moon was last night, so if you're a werewolf, I guess it, uh... Guess it makes sense. No, I was, um... I was asleep down at the bottom on the lake bed. There's a nice little cozy cave that got formed a long, 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 long time ago, I'm assuming, and... I generally tend to go down in there and sleep. I did hear a disturbance, though. Was that you? <laughs> I have seen the occasional hiker's dog go a little bit crazy with the water, yes. But I keep myself scarce. Were you just going bananas, running around, having a good time, or were you trying to get some of the fish? <laughs> well, werewolf or not, <laughs> let me tell you that the, uh, the fish in this lake can be pretty tricky to try and catch, especially for someone who can't swim as fast as I can. No, no, I believe you. I believe that you're a werewolf. I mean, look at me. You're talking to a mermaid. Of course I believe you. I'm just saying that because I am a mermaid, I'm a lot faster in the water than a werewolf would be. Because I am literally built for it. And... Well, as far as I'm aware, werewolves are, uh... More land-based creatures, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. No worries. So, 
You were out gallivanting through the trees last night and happened upon a lake and just kind of enjoyed the night. Woke up on the banks without your clothes on, having not gone back to the, uh, the human world, as it were. And then just get <laughs> startled awake by a voice singing not too far away. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to startle you or anyone. I mean, this lake is kind of hidden in the trees and nobody really comes out here. I get the occasional hiker, but they make so much noise that I hear them coming about three weeks in advance, and then I get plenty of time to dive down to the bottom and hide in my little cave. Well, yeah, I mean, the great thing about having the cave is that sonar doesn't go into it, so they don't know that I'm there. On the very, very rare occasion that it's a fisherman or fisher person, I guess, um, with one of those little sonar detectors who wants to go fishing. So, I keep myself discreet, and I keep myself safe. And, frankly, you were... I mean, I assume you still are so covered in mud from the lake that I didn't even realize you were there when I emerged this morning. So, sorry about that. <laughs> hmm? Oh, did I not? I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, no, uh, my name is Venora. Oh, nice to meet you. So, are you from one of the towns nearby? There's quite a few of them around here, scattered beyond the forest. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, no, you're not the first one to say. You're just the first one to say in a while, considering people very rarely see me here. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm flattered that you think I'm pretty. <laughs> Although I can't say I'm super surprised. It's kind of a hallmark of being a mermaid in general. You know? Or I guess maybe you wouldn't know, considering you're a werewolf. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being awkward or rude, by the way. I don't interact with anyone with legs very much. Oh! Well, um, I ended up in this lake kind of by chance. Um... I, most merfolk tend to populate the oceans. Um, I'm from a very, very small subspecies that can survive in both fresh and salt water. Sure, kind of like a salmon, but not really. Um, I swam up a river and I ended up in this lake. And one year I kind of got stuck. And I just never left. There's no one back in the ocean who would miss me, so I decided that I could have some peace and quiet here without the uh, constant there's always a bigger fish lifestyle of being out in the ocean. And I like it here. What about you? Any particular reason you ended up around here? You born around here? Did you move to here? Oh. Okay. So you got bitten elsewhere and then you moved here in order to kind of get detached from society. No, no. No judgment. That's actually... I think that's very 
noble of you, I suppose might be the word for it. Just trying to protect the people you care about from a condition that you had no say in receiving. So, um, <clears throat> my delightful social awkwardness aside, um, y you're welcome to come back if you want during, uh, I don't know, the next full moon or really just whenever. Um, you've got, um, You've got quite the uh, aesthetically pleasing face, considering uh, my hands are covering up everything else. Um, yeah, you've, you've got a nice face, and you seem really nice, and I appreciate that you don't immediately hate my attempts at humor, even though I'm kind of detached from land dwelling society and culture and humor. So, um, if, if you want, um, <laughs> you're, you're welcome to come back and hang out or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, some merfolk are capable of having legs when they're dried out and I'm one of them, I just, um, I don't dry out very often because it takes a while and it could be a little bit of, uh, an irritation because of how long it takes. Um, I would say it's a pain in the neck, but it's not a literal pain in the neck. Um, so yeah, I can, I just don't very much, and, but, uh, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, um, I'd be happy to hang out with you at your place, too, if if you're comfortable with that. Um, I just, uh, you'll have to show me how to get there, because uh, I, I obviously can't very easily. Um, but yeah, I would, I would, I would like that. Um, you seem really cool. You know, I just, you're the first person I met who was not just human. I, and you know, not a merfolk either. I grew up with merfolk. I've met plenty of those, but like, since I moved here to this landlocked lake, you're the first one I've met who was more than just human. And I think that's really neat, and you seem really cool and very friendly, um, and, yeah, I, I, I'm so sorry, I'm so awkward, I, you might have to teach me how to interact, you know? <laughs> oh, well, um. Thanks. I, um, I appreciate that. And you're just very much reinforcing the way I view you as being very kind right now. <laughs> um, is there anything I can help you with while you're here before you go back? I mean, I assume that you're going back to the human towns, because... You're naked in the woods. But if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> sure. I can catch a fish. If you want to make a fire, you'll have to cook it. I can eat raw fish, but I don't think you should. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let me go catch a fish for you so you can have something to eat. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, I'll 
be right back.